Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Welcome to our new house and our new craft corner. In the last episode, we shared with you how we made the lace bridal bolero. In this video, I would like to share with you how we made this pure white ball gown. To make this ball gown, we will need to sew the petticoat underskirt first. This is the pattern for the petticoat. This is the length from waist to toe. Circle is for the waist. And the back is a bit longer than the front because we want a bit of a train in the back. Now cut it on fold. We will need a couple of layers of tools to create volume for the ball gown. Cut four strips of white tools, three inches wide, using the longest stitches. about the length of each strip. We can always sew two or three strips together. We pin along and sew the tool to the skirt. There, spring has sprung. Magnolia and cherry blossoms are blooming gorgeously, cheering and welcoming us to this beautiful new home. We continue with the next layers. tool for this petticoat. Then we need to hem it. This beautiful Neki sewing machine with all its accessories is our family heirloom that came down to us from our beloved grandma. Here you go, the incredible narrow hammer foot. To begin, we need to fold it by hand first. And sew a couple of stitches. Then, 
Then lift the foot up and pull the edges of the hem into the hammer loop. Slow down the foot and run the machine. The hammer foot will fold the hem for you neatly. Never let go of the edge or else it will fall off the hammer. Perfect, that's the puffy petticoat. Now we can do the measurement of the main garment. It should include the puffy petticoat. The pattern for the main garment is pretty much the same with the petticoat, just a bit bigger. After cutting, we need to apply fray check to prevent fraying. It's a wedding dress. It needs to be flawless. The main garment is thicker than the lining. Double fold hem with the hammer foot might make the hem too stiff, so mom decided to hem it this way. We iron it and secure it with the quilting clips. Then we sew it. Even though it takes much longer, it's worth every effort. So we've done it with the skirts, both main garment and underskirt. Now let's make the bodies. The bodies of this gown is the Sweetheart 5-piece bodies. To make it perfectly fit our bride, every single movement needs to be exact. A hair thin difference in each piece will result in 10 hair thin for the whole bodies. It may not be a big deal for human size, but for teeny tiny little bride, it means either too loose or too tight. We use a layer of interfacing to stiffen the main garment so that the bodies can hold the form more firmly. And fray jack on the main garment. Then sew each panel together. Because each piece curves differently, we need to clip along. Make sure not to touch the seam line. Now, it's flexible enough to match the notches and the seam line. To sew this miniature dress, we use 1 to 1.5 inch length stitch. Small stitches will make it easier and prettier to sew the small little curves.
Sewing the back bodies to the front bodies is much faster. The lining layer and main garment bodies are pretty much the same. We'll align them right side facing and sew the neckline together. Pay close attention to the heart shape of the neckline. If we don't have it right, we'll have a lot of problems turning it over. Then we trim off the edges, careful not to touch the seam line. To make it more pretty, we top stitch along the neckline. Top stitching in miniature sewing is not easy at all. Because the sewing line is so close to the edge,
perfect. Now let's sew it to the skirts. Lining layer to lining layer. And main garment to main garment. Last thing to do is attaching the zipper. As usual, we sandwich the zipper in between the two layers. Mom hand sew the zipper, stitches by stitches. Try to sew as close to the teeth as possible. Do you notice how mommy made the tiny invisible starting knot? All of this detail will contribute to the perfection of the gown. It took us three days to finish this gown. Isn't she the most gorgeous bride in the whole wide world? I hope you like our video. Sew along with us and leave a comment with your nice work. See you next time. Thank you for watching.